Hi guys, and this is the another tutorial uh, in the Java programming series. So in this tutorial, we are going to see how you can use loops in Java. So first, we are going to take a look called as for loop. So how you can use for loop in Java? So let's get started for that. So we are going to again make a class like to uh, 21. Okay, then we are going to make a main function. Then uh, we are going to use loop here. So for loop we are going to use here. So first the data type. Then uh, the variable we will take the variable count. Because we are going to count it. Okay. So let's take a simple variable. So we are going to initialize to zero. After that we are going to give some condition to that. So if count is less than equal to 10 then what will happen okay so if count is less than equal to 10 then the, the loop will run until the count uh, is less than or equal to 10 this uh, the value will be 10 okay until the 10 the loop will run then we have to make sure that loop will run so we have to put here count plus plus so that it will add every time is getting added every time so that the loop will run okay so put so also system auto print that here so we are going to print a count on the screen so let's see what will happen so you can see here the count variable is running from zero it started running from zero and it ran until the value comes 10 which is less than or equal to this is equal to 10 so in this way you can use the for loop so let me tell you again what is happening here so first the count is equal to 0 so 0 is less than or equal to 10 so it's less than 10 so what will happen is it's going to print count this 0 on the screen like as it is printing and uh, after that it's going to add 0 to 1 ok so plus 1 count this count value is 0 and plus plus this plus is 1 ok so 1 value the count value will be 1 in the next iteration so the 1 is less than 10 so it's going to print 1 on the screen again so like it's printing 1 on the screen and uh, we have used a this on the next line that's why it is going on the next line if you don't use this and it's going to print on the same line ok so in this way until the value comes 10 the 10 is less than equal less than 10 no it's not less than but it's equal to 10 so it's going to print 10 on the screen so again on the last iteration it has printed the 10 on the screen so in this way the for loop runs ok so this was a pretty quick tutorial about the for loop so until then keep practicing the problem and uh, thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel. Bye.